Hi, in this example, we will learn about sub procedures and function procedures. So, here we have uh, five different worksheets input step one, step two, optimization, and example. So, from the input worksheet, we have the next and the view example button. So, the next button should take us to step one worksheet, while um, the view example button should take us to the example worksheet. So if you press next, you will go in step one. And from step one next, you will go to step two. And from here next, you will go to optimization. And from the back button, it should take you back to input. While the view example in all these worksheets takes you to example worksheet. While the return to program takes you to the previous worksheet. So to navigate between all these worksheets, you would want to write a sub procedure for each button, and also you will need function procedures to call various functions. So, to do so, you will go under the developer tab, go under Visual Basic. You can add a module by right clicking, insert a module. Once you insert a module, you can start with your procedures so you can write option explicit so for the first button in the first worksheet which is input so the names here for the worksheets are written down so we will use those names instead of writing sheet 1 or sheet 2 so we will write sub input next is the button so in this we will use the name variable and assign it the name of the next worksheet that you would want to go on step one is the next worksheet after input and we will call a function next sheet for the variable name so we would want to declare this under public name as a string okay so now we will write the function procedure so function procedure would be next sheet name so all these are names as you see the variables so now in this worksheet you would want the worksheet with the name variable for example step one to be made visible and the active sheet you don't want it anymore so the input sheet will basically go away once you click the next button and the step one worksheet will come up. So you will write worksheets name dot visible and you want to make this visible so you will write true and the active sheet you will make this false okay so the function procedure is done. There are more two next buttons uh, when you see in the step one and in step two we have two next buttons and then in optimization we have a back button. So for all these we can use a similar sub procedure. So we can copy this and we can paste this four times. So there are four um, worksheets. So you have the same ones almost. So you can change this. Now this will be step one next. This will be for step two next. And this will be for the optimization back. Okay. So the now 
So now the variable name changes from step 1 to step 2. Here it will change to worksheet called optimization. That's the name of the worksheet that we have here. And in the opt optimization back button, it should take us to the input worksheet. So we will write this as input. Okay, so the next buttons are done. Now we will write a sub procedure for the view example button, which we can see in the four worksheets. So in the view example button, we want to make the example worksheet visible. So we will similarly write, since we already know the name of the sheet, we will just write example and make this visible by writing it as true. Now we don't know which was the previous worksheet that navigated us to the example worksheet. So we can just write a common function and we will name this as close current. So for the function close current you can write set ws is equal to active sheet. So from any of these four sheets it could be an active sheet and it will be set to ws and we can make ws dot visible is equal to false which makes the example worksheet visible to the user. So after you make this you want to declare ws which is a worksheet so you would declare it here at the top okay all right so the last button that we need to work on is the return to program button. So you will write sub procedure for the same sub return to program. So for this you want the exact opposite of the view example button. So we are already in the example worksheet which we don't want anymore and we want to go back to the worksheet that we were working on so we will write ws dot visible which was initially false here we will make that to true while the example worksheet which was made true since we wanted to view the example worksheet. Now we want to go back to where we were so we will make that to false. We write false and here are all your macros. Once you've written all your macros you can go back to your Excel sheet and you can assign these macros to your buttons assign the input next button here click OK and assign the view example button here click OK you can then go on step 1 so the next button in input took you to step 1 so similarly you can assign this macro to step 1 next click OK similarly for example so view example click OK you can click on next and that took you to step 2 similarly do it
for step two and optimization. Here you select Optim Back, click OK, and here you select the example, click OK. You go back, which will take you to the input. Now we can click on return to program. We can click on view example first. So we've already assigned in the input worksheet for view example. So we will click on view example which will take us to example worksheet and we can then click on return to program and assign this macro to it. So now that you've assigned everything, you can check. You go from input next to step one next to step two next, back, which takes you to input again. You go in view example. You go to return to program in example, and it takes you back to input.